Aziol no Aziol no will start by washing the tomatoes then coriander in Swahili it's known as dania we begin by peeling the the onions because you know the outer cover is normally when it's from the shamba the outer cover normally have some yeah we will do the process we will just in Swahili we call it dania in Swahili Now you can see that you can imagine if you could cook with them the way they were maybe we can show you the, the water that we've used used to clean it just see all that and now I think you've got the essence of cleaning all this before we begin the the cooking we do it bit by bit so that Remember hygiene is in everything, the clothing, the food that we eat, day in, day out, so that's the process that. So remember the first stage was to clean the tomatoes, the onions. The dania and so on, or you can just call them the ingredients that was the first step we are proceeding to the next step remember the what you want to cook today is we want to show you how to cook this now uh, the first stage that we did was the cleaning of the ingredients and uh, now we are uh, into the second stage uh, as you can see we are sorting the uh, uh, popular known as uh, omen or uh, fingerlings uh, from uh, they are rather uh, well in Kenya they are popularly known as omena uh, but they are the fingerlings of the small fish uh, the young ones of the fish uh, we are now separating the the shaft from the clean ones as you can see uh, on this on the on this end on this end we have the the the, unwa the unwanted ones well uh, uh, they they come in you see <laughs> this is this is not edible uh, others are bad so you have to remove the bad ones so as you can throw up uh, the final product can be can be good for consumption uh, rather this these are the the ones that which have been sorted and the clean ones so you separate them from the from the dirty ones the shaft the dirt as I earlier mentioned you have to be very careful and the uh, the sorted or the clean uh, omena so we we need enough water, uh, enough water for cleaning the omena. Eliminate all the dirt that is uh, in the fingerlings. The next process uh, after we've, we've warmed our water. Uh, we want to uh, we now put the omena inside there so that we can really uh, clean it thoroughly remember the fingerlings are uh, have really a lot of dirt bit sand bit the the shaft so you have to really thoroughly clean it and as you can see already the water is has already changed uh, its color because of the dirt that is uh, within or inside the omena so just you can just stir others prefer uh, prefer as I earlier mentioned that the omena is full of dirt and as you can see the water really changed its color and there's some residue down there so we want to pour this water since it's uh, unnecessary we will not use it 
remember the the previous step that we had was to wash the omena so that it becomes clean and we used warm water now the next step is to the, the, the omena now is water is some some sort of water so before we got the actual process of doing the frying we have to dry it to dry it up first so that it won't consume a lot of oil yeah so the the process that we are doing right now is to is to dry up the omena so it because it's watery it's some sort of water because we we cleaned it with the warm water in the previous step the process that is underway now is to dry the omena or the fingerlings as i told you earlier it got it has different names depending on which part of the world you come from so for us we call it omena or the small fish so we are drying it up you should not mistake the process that's underway with the stirring yeah we are drying it up beat chef has left we are now confused at this step yes now you, you can see the color after would after drying it up you can see some of the fingerlings or some of the small fish or maybe the omena that have turned to a golden brown color yeah, you can just see them so we are going to the, on to the next process of preparing our omena so in a clean sofria, put on uh, put your chopped onions uh, and add oil as you can see. So just put put enough oil, not too much oil, so as to so that the onion cannot burn. And keep on stirring until the onion changes its color to golden brown. Stir constantly. And as you start, uh, check if the. Uh, be careful to see the onions has changed uh, the color to golden brown. Well, viewers, if you are here, you could have um, just have a scent of the sm of the of the of the uh, of the aroma of the onions. So as you can see, after we we've, uh, we've cooked our onion till it's turned color to golden brown, we now add our omena the sphere and stir so that we can uh, pan fry just try to jam so stir your omena for two to three minutes until when it's ready, when it's uh, firm, when you firm, so that you can add your tomatoes gently. You pour tomatoes, then you reduce your heat. Remember, when you're cooking, remember, don't uh, put so much heat so that it may burn. So you reduce the heat, you reduce the heat, so that the omena can cook on low low heat. And then you, so you ensure that the tomatoes that you add, you're well covered, and then you cover your omena for, so that it may burn for three to four minutes. You can now remove the lid and check your omena. Tomatoes are now uh, well cooked. Are well cooked. And just keep on stirring, keep on stirring for a minute as you prepare to add, to season your omena with salt. So you add, you add, add your salt and then stir so that it might mix well. Keep on stirring, keep on stirring, reduce your heat, remember, 
you reduce your heat remember when cooking any meal pro, uh, mostly the stews you ensure that the heat is not too much so that it may cook through well and may, you may avoid burning yeah i remember you add your dania and your green capsicum or popularly known as the hoho the soil name is hoho and start uh, keep on stirring gently keep, stir gently so that it make <laughs> Sorry, remember to add lemon to your omena. This will help in removing the 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 the, the, the smell, which at uh, times can be unpleasant. So add add as add as much lemon as you can, liquid lemon. That you can receive the receive the the salt is efficient